kajto so vi, kapiš pa vam namita sočeta the star of the evening, guests of honor and honored guests. Masaya, finding three Sithenians on the podium is absolutely fitting for a book about bureaucracy. There's no real surprise who the guests of honor are, but then looking at all the honored guests, I'm equally impressed by the galaxy of uh, of uh, senior bureaucrats and officials who arrived this evening to support uh, Suchita. I doubt there's so much governmental power packed into one room in Delhi, <laughs> except when Narendra Modi dines alone. <laughs> but um, having said that, it's, it's good to see you all here to celebrate a book, uh, especially since very few of you probably allow yourselves the time to read one, and here you're hearing lots of exhortations that you must indeed read this one, so that's a good start. Kapish began the evening by quoting that uh, old line about behind every successful man is a woman, etc. And usually behind every successful woman, Kapish is a man trying to hold her back. But I think uh, we've seen that here we have an absolute, uh, absolute exception. Well, I mean, I, I, I think my challenge at the moment is that uh, everything has already been said in poetry and prose, in English and Urdu, and, and the truth is that, uh, that uh, it's a challenge to add to the very accurate and comprehensive summary we've all heard of this, this, this remarkably interesting book and so relevant to many in the audience today. Uh, Suchita now over several books has done a remarkable job of evocation of the life and challenges of the Indian bureaucrat. And she's done it particularly from the empathetic position of the bureaucrat's spouse, the, the Mem Sahib of the title of two of her books. Um, uh, like um, uh, others have said, there, there's a great deal uh, about the life of the Indian bureaucrat that she has captured in her writing that will be familiar to many of you in this room and unfamiliar to the larger readership at which the book is also aimed. Like Pavan, I, I, I helped inaugurate this festival yesterday across on the lawn, the words in the garden. And it's intriguing that for this literature festival in Delhi, the city of bureaucrats, they chose three themes, love, loneliness, and nature. It seemed an interesting choice of, of, of themes for, um, for uh, a literature festival in Delhi. Because as far as love is concerned, of course, nobody loves a bureaucrat. Uh, in this novel, not even his wife. Uh, so uh, the, 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 big challenge, um, the big challenge for um, uh, writing literature about, about bureaucracy and love is largely its absence, which is what the, the challenge in many ways is. And the other theme of loneliness which Pavan tells us he's been addressing right now, that's, that's truly, truly a, a real concern because the bureaucrat knows that many of the people other than fellow bureaucrats perhaps who come across his path do so because of the position he occupies, uh, that many of their uh, professed affections are transactional in nature, that what they really want is something from the position that you occupy rather than truly knowing and appreciating the human being who occupies it. And so the loneliness that follows. And I think um, um, it's, it's a striking uh, challenge we've got when we, when we think about the loneliness of the bureaucrat because um, after all, no bureaucrat really goes to his maker at the end of his career wishing he'd spent more time in the office. So inevitably, the regrets, the, the things you wish you had done more of are the things that don't involve the office, which is precisely where you have spent much of your time. And I would say that this, that Sutsuda so very, very intelligently and evocatively portrayed the way in which uh, the bureaucrats are caught between performing their lives at their desks and, of course, living their lives beyond their desks. And that is the dilemma that I think features in many of our books, and in particular in this one, as the other speakers before me have so clearly described to all of you. Um, she, is, she is sound on, 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 on things like the, the, the dominance uh, of the professional life in people's concerns, the extent to which 
nothing else really can occupy credible space, how that becomes not the first priority but the only priority, and how as a result family life relationships and other personal matters suffer terribly. And then there's also an evocation of the a depiction of the moral compromises, the challenges, the demands that are made on the professional bureaucrat that uh, to fulfill which he would find himself at odds with his own values. And in, in many ways the, the portrayal of the Indian bureaucrat caught up in these dilemmas is very striking because it really does inspire faith I think in the non-Indian bureaucrat reader uh, in the quality of our governance that there are people like Shubhajit in the book who are actually making the decisions. It's not just this anonymous brick building with dusty offices and musty files, the old stereotype of the bureaucrat, that there, is, there are human beings making decisions, struggling to do what's right uh, for themselves, for the country, and for the cause that they've sworn to serve. Uh, the book ends, as has already been given, way, given away by, by the other speakers, with uh, Shubhajit quitting the service. I, I told Suchita that, um, I, 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 that that ending you know, prompted some reflection on my part as to whether uh, the past can truly serve as a refuge from the challenges of the present. Uh, maybe it's a Gandhian solution she's advocating here, this, this return to the purity of the village. Um, but is the loneliness of a rural ideal really better? than the loneliness of the hard-working bureaucrats in the office. Both are different forms of loneliness. So I think this, to my mind, somewhat unsatisfactory conclusion to the dilemmas of the bureaucrat in the novel, when he demands VRS, he has an understanding boss who gives him a year's sabbatical instead, and he goes off to this hut in the village. Um, that, to my mind, can only be a prelude to a sequel. But let me just say that this depiction of the need to balance professional dedication, personal fulfillment is, is, is very well done. Suchita has in many ways, as I say in my blurb at the back of the book, really broke the soul into the soulless bureaucrat of stereotype and cliches. So with those words, let me congratulate Suchita on Scent of the Soil. Let me congratulate uh, Rupa and Kapish for as usual having brought out a very attractively produced book. And as with Rupa usually, also a very affordable book, hint, hint, to those in the audience who are going to not find the time to read it. it this will, I think, make for a very quick read, and I wish it and its author all success with this volume and for the many more to come. Thank you very much.